party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, but I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. That's a little lame. I ran with a simple crowd. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> as long as you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah, muscles. I like that. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all earned a rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to taking a damn break. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, you can serve this swill, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. <laughs> what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up the <laughs> Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Maybe we can work in some one-on-one -on -one time later. I'll have to check my schedule. Also, Dr. Chuckles apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. 
They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunching. Lots of crunching. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling Reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Protein gathers were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes. A history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days. Running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope she took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, here you are, drinking her alcohol through a straw. I'd call that progress. Something to look forward to, then. Love it. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. what I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? Reminds me of Cora's Den. Haven't been back there in a while. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Wow. This is quite the apartment. Seriously. You see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> In my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Hey, James. Got a minute? Sure. What's up? So... What's it gonna take for you to see me as a woman instead of your commander? <laughs> Whoa, Lola. I've got no problem seeing you as a woman. Believe me. See? Such a flirt. Just knock it off and answer the question. Uh, I don't know. It'd take quite a few drinks and one of those once-in-a-lifetime nights. 
I'm certainly tempted. Should I roll with the party mood and give in to the feeling or stick with my gut? James, glad to see you're coming around. Glad to see I'm what? I should probably mingle. I'll find you later. But you have no plans after Edie? For someone more human? Nah, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. A hundred Vulture? Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. So is this the trainer shepherd love nest? I hope we aren't interrupting anything you two might have been planning. Nothing to see here. Just playing chess. So, checkmate takes on a new meaning, I guess? The diversions of youth. Enjoy them while they last. Which, in the case of Asari, is about 350 years. I know what I want to be in my next life. So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Brynn into the council chamber. No, hell no. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Now we're gonna have to go stalk her on this one. Then comes the question. How about I punch you in the throat instead? Okay, I admit, when I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. The Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy is to avoid social situations where naturalism will come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I'd rather things didn't get too crazy. Excellent decision. Please give me a moment to prepare appetizers. Prick! I'm drinking, but it's not a drinking game. You're afraid to lose? Nothing to do with fear. I know I'll lose. Logic is for Solarians. The great Erdnot Rex is back down from the challenge. <laughs> I never accepted the damn... Fine! Drink! Ha! Fair warning, Grunt. My first liver dried up years ago on account of this stuff. I'm sure both of yours are still pink and squeaky, like baby piejacks. Quit stalling, old man. Drink! Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex! Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepherd. 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 Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. Tattooed human, I would like to touch you. <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? Um, why is Javik getting all touchy feely? Hey, collector looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. That does not happen until the end of the party. <laughs> mm. Turns out there is one thing primitives are good at. Not a word. Shepard! Commander! Javik? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided drinks. Sure. Um, you might want to tap the brakes a little. Everyone having a good time? Will there be food available soon? You're hungry, Edie? No. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwise. I can eat. In my sight, we had food. Many of varieties. You feeling okay? 
I am Prothea. I never feel okay. Though this drink is changing us. Hmm. Know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <sighs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sorry, Dury, Barry, and Cory. Is there any we could spare? I hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been employing a socialization protocol feature that came with this unit. It is called Smile and Nod. Okay. I'll see you about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Beverages. More would be preferable to not. Sure, help yourself to the bar, but I'd steer clear of the creme de menthe if I were you. Oh my god, you ain't kidding. <laughs> that stuff will make you sicker than pure wrinkle. Whew, trust me. Shit, it is disgusting. Hey, I was, uh talking to James earlier. He was... conflicted. It was kind of sweet, actually. Oh, yeah? He said there was something heating up between you two. I hope he's right, because you deserve each other. I, I mean that in a good way. Thanks. I guess we'll see what happens. So, talking about food at a party, like, for fun. Bored. Is there a place I can go light something on fire? The fireplace is right there. Eh, it's not the same. Is this real leather? It feels like real leather. Ah, this place is a goddamn joke. Sidelines aren't bad. One point in its favor and I'm supposed to be impressed. And what the hell is this supposed to be? I... I think... It's... Art. Oh. Mm. Art, eh? Okay, I see now. Sure. Art. I like it. What are you guys doing over here? Looking at this poor excuse of an apartment, that's what. What's wrong with it? What would you do if another one of your clones broke in here, eh? Offer them a cup of tea? Ah, there are too many windows, and they're, they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movement. But it's got potential. Be easy to set up a defensible position over there. I'd extend a wall out, prevent someone sticking you in the back. Mmm, 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 good idea. Mmm. Wish I could have done that back in the day on Omega. Why don't you two relax and enjoy the party? The apartment's fine. Fine is good for someone else, not the love of my life. And I, I want to know you're safe. Suppose it isn't your clone, it's Liara's clone that comes after you. Or Jokers. Then you and all your clones can have a sodding love fest. I think I'm gonna puke. All right, have fun. Shepard, I know I don't say this enough, but I love your hair. <laughs> and I'm pretty damn partial to the rest of you, too. Classy and expensive. So, Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, Ugh! Or something? Uh, that was when I thought she was a VI. Anyway, you'd just better treat her right, Moreau. Oh, somebody jealous? I think you had a better shot when she looked like a holographic chess piece trainer. I wouldn't have said chess piece precisely. But listen, the point is, you hate AIs. You had to overcome all your hang-ups, whereas I was totally fine with AIs to begin with. You know, you're awfully pissy about this, considering you're sleeping with Shepard now. I fail to see how that's in any way relevant. Wait, what? Wait, are you two arguing over Edie? No! Probably not. You know, she smashed my head against the side of a shuttle. I know! Twice! I heard it from Liara! 
That was like forever ago. Plus, it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. You're right. I'm not even sure what made me think of it. Apology accepted. You know, it's not healthy to just bottle these things up. The hell is up? Still creepy, Kasumi. You know, trainer, you've got me. I do recall running into you once or twice in the shower. Look, Shepard, there's no easy way to say this, which is why it's fortunate I'm pretty hammered right now. Trainer has a thing for robots. Wanker. I mean, the tech background, being all in the Edie's voice. Just think about it. I'm gonna kill you later, just so we're clear. Fortunately, Shepard, you're what, 30% cybernetics since Cerberus brought you back? That's probably enough for her. Well, I for one am relieved. Is it really a full 30%? Hmm. And a little creeped out. Just bear in mind, she's probably gonna check to see whether your back lights up during sex. So, there's reach around action. It's, you know, she's looking for your cyborg parts. Oh, it doesn't. Hey, <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook something. Caden, just relax. I heard the footfall, and I knew that it was you, Shepard. Not enjoying the party, Samara? Oh yes, Shepard, I am. Although not in the same way as the others, perhaps. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I only stepped away for a moment to use the restroom, and then I found this quiet corner. Reflecting on one's place in the universe while a party rages within reach can feel oddly self-affirming. Meditating isn't often considered party behavior. Perhaps. I don't attend many parties, to be honest. Then I'm flattered. Your influence in my life causes me to be drawn to you, no doubt. For better or for worse, considering our past... unpleasantness. I wasn't sure you'd come. We haven't always seen eye to eye. Life is long, Shepard. Well, I'll leave you to it. Well, I'm glad you two were drunk enough to finally deal with this. Oh, we weren't planning to deal with it. We're just happy giving each other shit. We can call Edie over and you can discuss your feelings like mature adults. What? No. That would be weird. Just... just no. You don't think she knows? You guys, she's the Normandy AI. She sees every extra net site you browse. Note to self, delete browser history. I can show you how to set up an automated task for that. It is so pleasant here. Sitting by oneself and listening to the enjoyment of others can be quite calming. Sure. Sure. Of course, the SR2 is much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. More of a... <laughs> That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. But if you move further up, it's more of a... <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. <laughs> of course. Over by the med bay. Exactly! What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting? I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR1 was a decent ship, but the SR2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. We wouldn't have the SR2 if it hadn't been for the original Normandy. And we might never have met. We couldn't have that. I should hope not. It was a great ship. It made the quietest little sounds, a sort of shoo, shoo, boom. The first Normandy brought us all together. I don't know where I'd be without it. 
he would probably still be stuck inside that Prothean energy ball. What? When Shepard first met Liara, she was trapped inside the... What was it again? It was a Prothean security device. I hit something I wasn't supposed to. I laughed it out. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. I'm in the bubble. <laughs> That's funny. No, it isn't. I guess the original Normandy is a classic. Wish I could have seen it in action. I think you would have liked it, James. It did come with its own Mako. Nice. So, Caden, I've never had the nerve to ask. The hair, man, is that product, or are you just naturally that, uh, whatever that is? Actually, it's because of static electricity. Biotics build up a charge the same way a ship does during FTL. The L3 implants minimize the effects, but with the L2s, it can be pretty painful. Wow, I was just screwing with you. Now I'm that asshole. How about that one? On the arm there? Got that taking some knives off a gang of drunk Batarians. They figured they could stop me from collecting the bounty on their boss. Idiots. So, this one's from two Krogan that had a problem with me running Arlac Company. They learned to live with it. Turns out only one of them had to. <laughs> You're all right, grunt. Hey, no touching, asshole. I mean no harm, tattooed human. I have read you. You don't need to read me. Just ask and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Yes, this is what I have read. What about over there? It would work if there wasn't a point of entry right there. Mm. So, we barricade it off. Maybe install a tripwire. You're a genius, Vakarian, I swear it. So, do you think we should start dancing or something? Why would we do that? Along with its commander being the first human specter. You were there, Doc. What was it like? It was overwhelming at first, but it became a home. <laughs> I hear you, man. I wish I could have seen it. Well, you got to see the superior model. Hate giving Cerberus credit for anything, but I gotta say the SR2 beats the SR1. Hands down, from what I can tell. The SR2's been through a lot, and it will see us through a lot more. I wouldn't change my name for just any ship. I thought the Admiralty Board changed your name. Yes, but in hindsight, I might have considered it. Do you miss the Normandy? I'm not sentimental, but sometimes I do. A lot has changed. Some things have changed, but there are still familiar faces. Me, Shepard, Joker, Edie. Come on, Edie even having a face. That's a pretty big change. Okay, that part's different. I knew nothing could beat the SR2, at least for now. For now? Well, yeah. Let's say one day I get my own ship. That ship will kick some serious ass. I suppose it will. Oh, I really need to avoid dairy. So we're never talking about this again, right? Absolutely not. Wait, absolutely not you're agreeing with me, or absolutely not we are talking about this again? Shut up, Moreau. Is everyone all right? Can I get anyone anything? Steve, I will prepare everything. Do not worry. Steve, get me a double. Make yours a double, too. Let's kick this shit up. Occupied. Do you require anything further? Let's set up a card game in the den. Please let me know if my astronomical calculations appear to be throwing off results of the game. You're bluffing. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I can tell when someone is hiding something from me. Right. Anyway, now we put our cards on the table. It is foolish to reveal secrets to the enemy. It's part of the game, and we're not enemies. Hey, you want me to deal you in on the next one? I bet you'd be good at this. No. See, that right there. Perfect poker face. What are you talking about? You're still doing it. Commander, can you believe Doc's never played poker? How are the lessons going? The Asari still refuses to take risks. Victory does not come without cost. You're not even playing. Doc's not much of a gambler. Be glad we are not participating in one of the games from my side. You would all lose horribly. Aw, oh, be nice to Liara. You're going to have your hands full with me, anyway. Adios. How long have you been there? 
Well, my willingness to gamble aside, this has been a wonderful evening, Shepard. Glad you guys are having fun. It's nice to see people relax and let their guards down. I'll try not to take advantage. Time spent being idle? Do you fear the crew will grow soft, Commander? I think everyone could use the break. This from the Asari who buries herself in studying Protheans day and night. Good to know bickering like an old married couple has not changed since your cycle. Enjoy your game, guys. And I'd keep an eye on Liara if I were you. Give me a few more rounds and you might not have anything left to wager. Now this game is getting more interesting. Tally, you okay? Yep. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You wanna know? It's a pretty bird, made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull, being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. Because I'm hardcore, like Ezo. Jack suggested it. Remind me to talk to Jack in the morning. Where'd you get the Omni tattoo, anyway? Down in the lower wards, near the bottom. I meant, where on your body. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one from Liara. Get some rest, Tally. So, what games did you play in your cycle? Good question. You don't exactly strike me as Mr. Playful. There was one game. It has no name in your language. Three teams met in the arena. Their strength, agility, loyalty, all were tested. The winners were honored, while those that lost... You didn't... uh... sacrifice the losers, did you? Your cycle allows them to live? Um... well... <laughs> I will never tire of tricking the primitives. That is a game I enjoy playing. You're sure you okay, Tally? Fine! Suit doesn't let me get overly intoxic. Intox. Drunk. Just have it all flushed out in a minute. <laughs> Omni two. I'll give that. You're a great pilot. The best, but go on. All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got your beat. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shuttles. Only slightly less cool than dropping from the Normandy into Mako. And I bet you couldn't handle the Normandy. Wait, <laughs> didn't you get the first one blown up? So the first Normandy kind of evaporated. It was unfortunate, but Shepard did get a better ship out of the deal. I wouldn't fight myself for another ship. Or ever again. No more clones. Come on, fighting a clone can't be worse than the Collector base. That was some messed up shit. That place still gives me nightmares. Yeah, not something I wish to repeat. I'm glad I wasn't around for that one. We must never fear the fight against evil. And I had faith that Shepard would see us through. That ability to triumph despite impossible odds is exactly why Shepard was brought back. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I saved the Normandy single-handed? Yeah, right. That's true. For sure. I was there. I'll vouch for it. Collectors boarded the Normandy. I only had a minute to come up with something to take them down. So you unshackled an AI. Always a good plan. I don't hear anyone complaining about Edie now. <laughs> you wouldn't complain. At least now you might get laid. We're losing focus. Edie wasn't a robot back then. And when the Collectors took over, she was still shackled. So it was me, saving the Normandy by myself. Single hit. Yes, you did. Good man. Just smells like sweat. Why would you even ask that? Don't do that in my helmet. It just gunks up the filters. No, that gets broken down with Mass Effect fields. 
Those are just my hips. Oh, for the optics, Jatika. You're cleaning me out, Doc. Aren't you the one who wanted me to bet more? You're quite determined when you want something, aren't you? You know, Liara, if you're ever looking for a new line of work, I bet we could have all sorts of fun. Should Dr. Tassoni accept that offer, I may also be able to assist you, Ms. Goto. What about me? I usually work with people who are a bit more... Uh... Subtle. Hey, I can be subtle. Are you whistling? Yes, but you're with Shepard. Oh, I've heard the stories about the Normandy's crew before, but when you put it all together, defeating rogue specters, facing the collectors, and now the war, it's pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, all things considered, you'd think the Normandy crew would have a much higher turnover rate. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Sure, trainer. I'll have another. Doesn't have to be fancy. Shepard specifically requested more drinks. Are you certain you were up to the challenge? Absolutely. Really? Doesn't have to be fancy. Trust me, Edie. I worked at a bar to pay for university. I thought you had a full scholarship. The scholarship didn't cover spa sessions and beauty supplies. Or really expensive toothbrushes. Exactly. I might not know dancing or crazy stunts, but fancy drinks are right in my wheelhouse. Oh, just wanted something to drink. Everybody okay? Specialist trainer is preparing drinks. I had no idea you knew how. Try me. How about a quad kicker? Spiced rum, bourbon, ginger ale, no curry powder, I'm allergic. I read about something called a tasty tankard. Irish cream, coconut rum, iced chocolate, and butterscotch schnapps, if Shepard has it. Ever hear of a full biotic kick? Huh, who hasn't? Bourbon, Tuchanka dry, twist of orange, and ginger beer to fill. Impressive. I almost wish I could experience intoxication. Well, let me make you something. Maybe a mix of fruit juice, vodka, cognac, white wine, and blue thessia. Interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, Liara needs a shadow brocatini, no lime. Garrus asked for a dextro heat sink. Someone named Kasumi wants something called a memory stealer. Jack asked for a mix of vodka, whiskey, bourbon, and any energy drink I can find. Miranda is unhappy because her glass of perfection calls for strawberry liqueur, which we don't have. And Tali just wants anything she can drink through a straw. Glad to see you have things well in hand. Damn, this is good. You sure this doesn't have any ring call in it? Positive. And you're welcome. Can I get another in a bigger cup? Maybe one of the flower pots? It, uh, might take a while to get that many ingredients. Aww. So what's that drink you gave me? The frozen pie jack? Hey, the next one's for me. She promised. Oh, I shouldn't tell. Trade secret. We would be extremely grateful. Oh, fine. You usually make a frozen pie jack for the loud customers. Every few hours, you empty your spill pad into a martini glass and add some ice, et voila. That's what I just drank? What was in there? Damned if I know. It's best not to look. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Seriously, though, I called the next one. Awesome sauce. I'm surprised you came tonight. Why is that? I thought Justicars had to be out fighting evil 24-7. That's true. And so how do you know that I am not, Jeff? Fighting evil right now? Because we're all friends in it. Wait, she's messing with me, right? <laughs> it sure is good to see everyone again. Got a blue wire here, a red one, a yellow one, and one that looks like vomit. Describe the vomit one. Purplish, like after too many shots of wrinkle. Yeah, that's the one you want. Cross it with the blue one, and you're good. <laughs> Won't be saying the same for the fool who stumbles into this. What are you up to now, Zaid? 
Next time another clone of yours tries stealing your life, we'll have a nice little surprise rigged for them. Isn't that right, Garrus? Spared no expense for my honey. So, in walks your clone, takes a look around, sees this great hot tub, and says to themselves, Hey, I fancy a dip. Big mistake. Huge. The minute they put so much as a toe in the water, a timer starts counting down. To what? I'm a fucking getting. Thirty seconds later, this baby heats right up. And then what? You ever swim a few laps on the surface of the sun? No. Well, your clone will be. <laughs> That'll teach him. But what if I want to use the hot tub? Covered that. It's key to your DNA. But a clone would have the same DNA as me. God damned clone. So, Garris, scratch the hot tub. I've got a few ideas about that coffee maker downstairs, though. <laughs> yes. Microfilament's the answer. You think? Thinner the better. Tough to spot. Yeah, a five by five grid across the glass should do the trick. Oh, we'll do more than that. All right, Garris, I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm, oh. Uh, Nothing, just uh, admiring the polish on this glass. Good, don't tell her. She won't understand. Try me. Oh, it's just. Well, one man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. Now you're in for it. I can already hear the old Paul and Jane frowning. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and boom! Dust ready to pieces. Weaponized war fixture, Shepard. Wave of the future in home defense. Uh-huh. Shepard. Sweetie. Love of my life. Indulge your crazy boyfriend. I need to know you're safe. <laughs> If it'll make you feel better, honey. Oh, go get a room. God knows this place has enough of them. How many bedrooms does this place have? Your upper body, your lower body, pretty much all the parts in between. Torians certainly don't lack for a sense of direction. And you don't lack for places to get lost. So do you think a clone's DNA is completely identical, or just mostly identical? Let it go, Zaid. Yeah, yeah, just killing time. Trying to remember if the blue wire goes with the red or the yellow one. So many efforts. Now we just have to wait for another one of them clones to stumble in. <laughs> uh, of course, when this glass goes, the plants probably won't survive. Plants are overrated. You can always get the way I figure it, a coffee maker is really just a miniature bomb, and the one that Shepard's got downstairs has a timer, so... Oh, we cross a couple wires. And any clone that's looking for a pick-me-up will be picking pieces of themselves up off the floor. Caffeine rush. I like it. So, what do we do now, Zaid? I'm telling you, the kitchen's a gold mine of possibilities. Another clone drops by my fancy a pint to eat. Rig the refrigerator. Why stop there? Who says a kitchen faucet's just for water? Cyanide's a liquid too, you know. Is it done yet? The recipe calls for more curry. No, that's... that's too much. The recipe is very specific. I have measured the proper volume to the nearest milligram. Is it done now? Yeah, you have to go with your feelings. When you cook, you can't just stick to the recipe. Well, if we do not follow the recipe, you risk creating something that tastes offensive. Edie, the recipe was made by organics. It's never going to be exact, and that's a lot of curry. Trainer, back me up on this, huh? Oh, so I'm supposed to be the expert on curry. Just went right there, did you? Um, I just meant that you're a human. With taste buds. I don't even like curry. I have an allergy. Are you gonna be done soon, or do I need to go eat a keeper? Everybody okay? 
the entertainment efficiency of the party was falling due to inadequate food supplies. Ouch. Do not be concerned. I am compensating. I just wanted her to heat something up. Now she's cooking. With a vengeance. Edie, I appreciate the help, but parties aren't about efficiency. A party is a collective event among like-minded individuals. It requires teamwork and an understanding of group dynamics. You did not pass through the Omega-4 relay to assault the collector base without preparation. Why should this be any different? Because it's a party, Edie. Nobody's gonna die if we do it wrong. I'm really hungry, Shepard. But if you were to ask a team member to select the music and you chose Jeff, the results would be disastrous. I would never choose Jeff for the music. No, I should do music. I can handle mingling. You would be a popular choice for mingling, but it would be one which would unexpectedly lead to failure. Excuse me? You can sometimes be judgmental. It ruins the mood. I'll hold the line at the snack table. Agreed. You see, Shepard? A party is a social construct that can be designed for maximum efficiency. Well, good luck with that. Bring him back alive, Edie. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody has punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. Wow, these are actually good. Nicely done, Edie. Samantha, did you not say you were allergic to curry? Oh, I'll be a little sick later. It happens. You should have substituted coriander and cumin. What? What are you looking at? Did you enjoy the taste of the appetizers, Grunt? Maybe. I just shoved the whole plateful into my mouth. Good to see the old gang again. Liara's looking good. I mean, <laughs> you know, I haven't fallen down yet. Time to step this up! Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you, it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Is this Commander Shepard? Oh my god, oh my god! I can't believe it's you! Grunt, keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. First planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' lung. Neither of you would last a day on Tujanka. And Tujanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, talking shop? No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. And what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always trade. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. It still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. 
Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you're gonna match me shot for shot. You again? I thought you were dead. You can't come in. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Ah! Oh, what the hell is that? It tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own batch, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? That's all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> Give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. What was the name? Uh, yeah. No. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fight on the completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Wow. Kinda makes me tear up a little. Kinda makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. No. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying... Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay. You work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Looks pretty good from here. I'm glad you think so. You know I do. Uh-huh. But I might have to get closer to be sure. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Don't worry, Shepard. They won't get in. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You going there, James? Come on, Lola, you have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. I'm gonna have to go with James on this one. Oh, thanks, Shepard. Biotics are a little intangible when there's an example of physical excellence standing in front of you. Nice. First questionable decision I've seen you make, ever. Check it out. I can also roll my tongue. Oh, my. That's... Shepard, if that's your decision, I support you. Always. James, please stop doing that. Fake lip hair doesn't fool me, Solarian. No. No hard feelings, eh, amigos? One day, I am going to challenge you to a pull-up contest. And you won't stand a chance. Really? That's right. Uh, not sure I should take that bet. I wouldn't. Oh. 
Holy hell, you did it! Shepard doesn't have a half-brother named Sheppy the Bullis. No entry. When you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People? You know, people, things, stuff, pets, cars, whatever. Of course not. Oh, yeah. As a kid? All the time. All the time. You're selling cookies. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't let you in. Damn. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? It's all true. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. Oh, really? Oh, shut up. I hadn't even met you yet. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, if there's a context there that... You were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbed dextrose cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair's fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. Oh, we are going to talk later. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. Let's remember that one for later, actually. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. Well, look who's here. For certain definitions of here, what did we do last night? What didn't we do last night? I want to treasure this moment before I start remembering all the drunken antics I need to apologize for. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Definitely no mimes allowed. There's no box. There never was. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics... We can... We can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extra net sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No! No, 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 no! No! You can't even... No! Oh... Okay, sure. Send it my way. <laughs> I'm telling Shepard. Nope. 
So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Jack, Miranda's still weak from fighting Kai Lang. It wouldn't be fair for you to fight her right now. That's ridiculous. Don't worry. I won't hurt anything but her pride. And maybe her ass. And Miranda? I know you've got tech attacks that could take Jack down in seconds, but I'm trusting you to be better than that. Oh, really? Really? The truth hurts. Need some time alone with your feelings? Your ass is gonna need some time alone with its feelings. I don't get that. But I'm going somewhere dirty. Not helping, Kasumi. It must be hard being a baron stuck in a boy's body. Gene freaks, cheerleader. Child. Okay, nice talk. Just keep walking, chump. I'm gonna hit you so hard your ears pop. Ooh, someone's cranky. You must be tired from all the adults talking. You're gonna be drinking through a straw. Which is good. Your ass is getting too big. Yes, that happens when a woman reaches puberty. Oh, nice one. Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. You're fun to hate. You too. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Daid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. You've just lost the fight for your right to party. Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Needing an immediate margarita intervention is not a real crisis. Get out of here. We could just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that... Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. 
but also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. <laughs> you know, 20 years from now, this could be worth a fortune. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. All right, Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that... extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> All right. I can live with that. We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Maybe you should check on your boss. I think she's involved in a competition upstairs. I will locate Dr. Tassoni right away. Could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. But do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? What a guy. Buckle up, brother. Balls? <laughs> you got it, Vega. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on. You okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. I love and treasure you, darling. But that is terrible. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> Good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. It was broken when I got here. Where is it supposed to be? Oh, damn you. Let us start you a wizard. Just over here. Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium! Very reactive, very magnetic. 
Victorian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight, 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. What? I don't get it. <laughs> I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Oh, hello, Patty. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it, Kasumi. Hey, I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Earlier than I was expecting. I kind of thought they'd have a camel pattern. Short! Give me more. What's that, Grant? Give me more, give me more. Beast of food shack. Shotgun. But every time I, uh, I found this blue rock for you, they are <laughs> Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay. We're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. It's a space cowboy. Me. <laughs> I'm a pretty bird. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am. You must be talking to me. One hundred and sixty. Anyone counting? Miranda? <laughs> Absolutely. I think you're just fantastic. How many have I done? I believe you're at one hundred and fifty-eight, Lieutenant Vega. This is fun. Okay. Let's shake it like you... Like you break it. Wait. Wait, what? You people are the best. This is the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check me out now. Uh, 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 uh. James, how are those drinks going down? And by how, I mean almost done. Lola? Yeah. I'd say this is beginning to look like a once in a lifetime sort of night. Nice. I'll see you later, James. Jeff. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. No. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. You're right, Joker. Nobody should crush you into something you don't want to do. Thank you. Petey, why don't you make Joker another drink? Something strong. But Jeff has had several drinks already. If he has more, his behavior may become... Oh. What? Nothing. That was a joke. Thank you, Chef. Nothing like a little gunfire to liven things up. I begin to understand why these celebrations exist. I am... Wow, Edie, you do not mess around with those drinks. I believe you are strong enough to handle it, Jeff. Hey, that's my song! They're playing my song. Do you still want to dance? That is a wonderful idea. Are you having fun? Kind of. Excellent. Your dancing closely resembles shepherds. Oh, low blow. Hey, Edie, check this out. Oh, Chris. Very impressive. Your central nervous system is well coordinated given your inebriation. Looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? Jeff. Yes, Edie. That was a very bad joke. I love you too, Edie. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! this again hmm? really tell you what i won't bring it up as long as you get your ass out of bed and make me some eggs deal shepherd hope you're well new mission on tuchanka could end things made preparations asked friends in stg to leave this with you next time you were off duty some of my older work performances stories merely entertainment but entertainment useful at times good luck Prophase you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase they separate, then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. Hello, Perry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education of youth vital for future. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Baron. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. See, children? Key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis? Attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Heard the pie jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? Uh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. 50,000 years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, and the Asari. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. There was one. The Ara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no. It was just a dream. The apartment seems so quiet now. Morning, Shepard. 
So, on the off chance you accidentally trigger an alarm you didn't know you had and you hear a timer start counting down, then remember the code 6492, punch it into the keypad, preferably before the timer goes off. If you don't, well, blame Zaid and run like hell. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. I... I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. 1085. 1086. 1087. Oh. Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers. But I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Lysine, veiling, leucine, isoleucine, alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. With two hydroxyl groups you'll find serene and threonine. For sulfur look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases you have arginine, lysine, and histidine. From protein we are formed. Now the aromatics! Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids as we've seen. Or am I see asparagine and also glutamine? From protein we are formed. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. Okay, who wants eggs? They are. Eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs, Joker, where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Rex, buddy, eggs, Tally, ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Shepard, eggs? Mmm, good tea. Now that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? I've got a few ideas about that coffee maker downstairs, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So last night, I didn't do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet. So maybe I just imagined that last part. Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart, but Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant, nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. A sorry, very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. Woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in other room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. 
When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be an afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or, alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. What a night. Wish should never ended. Thanks, Shepard. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. <sighs> hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Yeah, there's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. All right, game on. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. Our last one until you finish kicking the Reaper's asses, you mean? Because that's the plan. Can't wait to see what the hell you make us do next. It's been a good ride. best. I am glad you were able to take time to celebrate. You deserve it. I wish you could have been here with me. I am always with you, Siha. I would not trade the time I had with you for anything. It was a good fight. A great fight. Then go and finish it. And when you go to the sea, I will be waiting for you at the shore. <laughs>